somebody's asking, when is a license needed to ship internationally? I'll go ahead and take that one. Um, you know, once you know what you are exporting, where is it going, who will receive it, and what will be used for at destination, which is very important, then you can start you know, taking the steps into verifying if you need you know, a license to export your product. Uh, your first step is to, you know, to obtain an uh, ECCN number, the Exp Export Control Classification Number, and that can, can be found on the Commerce Control List. Uh, there are three ways really to obtain the ECCN number. Uh, one would be to contact the manufacturer if you're not the manufacturer, uh, as they may actually have the ECN number already uh, obtained, uh, or you can self-classify the item, uh, and that'll be done through the, the BIS website. Uh, obviously, Scarborough can definitely assist you with uh, you know, obtaining the ECCN number. We've done that for many clients in the past. Or you can actually submit an official commodity classification request uh, to BIS electronically uh, using the uh, SNAP-R uh, tool. Uh, but uh, on the whole, generally, you know, items with high technology or dual-use items, you know, where they may could have you know, military use or commercial use, those are the items that typically require an export license. Okay. Thanks, Patrick. Um, so I've got